A calendar table is critical to any Power BI or Power Pivot report. You really need your own calendar table. Turn off auto date time and use your own calendar. So can GPT-4 help us create that calendar table in the first place or modify it? Well, yes, it can. And I'll show you how. Let's go. So once you've signed up for GPT or ChatGPT via OpenAI, there'll be links in the show notes, you really need to add a prompt. And I'll make this prompt available. Okay, it's very similar to a prompt from a previous video, except I've changed one line of code at the top, which says, help me write the M code I need. A previous prompt was help me format the M code. Okay, so this is the prompt and I'm just gonna copy it and you can copy it from the Word document or whatever. Copy here, start a new chat. Make sure it's GPT-4, okay, and paste in this code. So this is the starting point. You are telling it to act as a Power Query expert, and you're telling it how you'd like the code to be formatted as well. Okay, so let's try this out. I'll type in a few things. Um, I'll whiz through these little bits so you're not watching me type. I'm making all my mistakes. And then I'll comment in between. Let, let's see how this goes. I want to create a calendar table from a start date to an end date. I want to add a year, a month, a financial year, a financial month. So I want to do these sorts of things. Okay, so let's go. Okay. Let's give this a go. So this will be interesting. I've said assume June is a year end. So let's see, let's see what it does. I want financial year and I need a month number to assist with my sort by, okay. Okay, so it's split out a nice little start date, end date as a separate parameter. I like it. It's done a generate. Okay, that's looking good. Extract year, extract month name from date, month number. Okay, determine financial year as June. This is just great. Uh, reorder columns, I'm not sure I need that, but let's, let's just copy this and see if it works. So I'm gonna copy my code and I'm gonna go into Excel and uh, data, get data, launch power query. Honestly, you should add this to your quick access toolbar, right click, add, I've got it here. Okay, so that little button. Um, and then I'm gonna do a blank query. So right click, new query, other sources, blank query in Excel, or it's the same in Power BI, okay, except there's one less step. Okay, and let's go to the advanced editor and let's paste the code in. See if it works. All right. So we've got date, we've got year, we've got the month name, the month number, the financial year. Now it hasn't given me a financial month number, which, okay, so how has it done the financial year? Okay, it's put in the six, that's great. Okay, that's really cool. Um, okay, let's go back in. Um, I need financial month number and replace the long month name with the short month name. And give it examples, okay? And off it goes. Okay, so here it's done it. And it's pretty nice that it's telling me how it's worked out the month numbers, which is pretty cool. Okay, so let's go and copy this, copy the code back into Excel, go into the advanced editor, uh, control A and control V. Okay, after deleting it. Okay, let's have a look. Financial month number. All right, that is looking good. Month name has been shortened. Month number, financial year. And let's see, comes down here and month number 12, it kicks in at 1st of July. 2024. Okay, I'd like FE or F, FY, sorry, as a prefix. 
And I'd also like to parameterize the uh, month number so for, the, for the financial year. Okay, let's try and do that. Okay, let's give this a go. Add a parameter to allow me to change the financial year end and replace the financial year column showing FY22 examples. So give it examples, it really helps. Okay, let's copy this. Let's have a look, copy the code. Let's go into Excel, advanced editor, paste it in, click done. Okay, so we now have financial year done like this. And is there a financial year end month? Yes, it is. There it is, it's been put in. And where is the uh, financial year column? There we go, it's actually referring to the step now rather than the hard coded in number six. That's pretty cool. Right, I don't want those two columns if somebody enters uh, zero. Okay, let me see if I can um, Okay, let's copy this. Let's put it into our uh, query here. So home, advanced editor. Click done. So there's my financial years and financial months. All right, and you should always test this stuff. Um, and if we go in here and change this to a zero and go to the final table, there we go, it's got rid of it. All right, that's pretty cool. But let me know what you think about these videos. Do you find them useful? Is showing what chat GPT-4, you know, GPT-4 can actually do, is that is that useful? Is this just a case of, well, you know, it's not that relevant? I don't know, let me know what you think in the comments. I, I just find this stuff amazing, so I like sharing it. I'll catch you in the next video.